peeps be sheep states immigration is destroying Europe and it's all planned it's not just immigration peeps be sheep okay the first step that started the destruction of Europe and Western countries down this path was Western citizens preventing their governments their oligarchs their centralized power from annihilating other nations and waging war right what started this road down the destruction of the Western societies was when we that live in the Western world did not hold war criminals and monsters that are running our countries and our economies accountable for their crimes against humanity right for example I've, I've mentioned this before but let's let's do a little recap right Bush administration after during Afghanistan and Iraq right for 10 years eight years let's say right they fucking rendition people from all over the world went into countries that were not at war nothing kidnap people from their homes from the streets put them on flights black flights flew them to black sites one of them being guantanamo bay right and tortured the fuck out of these people right obama came into power and said you know what we tortured some folk look this up right he said we tortured some folk let's move on Let's, let's get along right well forget about that forget about the past let's look to the future look for that you know the way Obama talked he said a lot of shit but didn't say anything right use fluffy words and a lot of woke ass anti-war people fell in love with the with the the house Cornell West called Obama for what he was Cornell West called Obama the house, right? We can't say, right? This house came out and said, let's move along. We tortured some folk, right? We in the West fell in love with the fucker, right? That really was the beginning of the collapse of the Western societies, right? Because all that happened, he waged more war, seven more countries bombed and all the shit with NATO and all that stuff, jazz, right? And then these motherfuckers come along and they start canceling the Western culture, saying that Western culture was built on imperialism and everyone in the West has to pay the price of imperialism that was done and slavery that was done and the wrong that was done 300 years ago, 200 years ago, right? Now, here's the kicker, right? If people in the West, right? really gave a rat's ass about our history right you wouldn't go back to 300 years ago and say yeah we must pay retribution all this jazz to what happened 300 500 400 200 years ago 100 years ago right you would start off from the most recent horrendous crimes that were committed and work your way back right so the first thing we should have done in the west to make sure that we were on a higher moral ground as western politicians like to spew we should have held those people who committed crimes against humanity who committed wars of aggression who committed war crimes accountable in the last 10 20 years but they don't want to do that centralized power doesn't want to do that because they're the ones who fucking did it right they take all that fucking burden and responsibility and all shit dump it on the citizens and say you're responsible no motherfucker we're not responsible you're responsible right that was the beginning of the downfall of the western world right look at how much money the western societies western governments gave to black rock right the corporation that controls and the sister company controls a huge part of wall street and western economies right now right blackrock was on the verge of collapse during the 2008 financial scam right and then what happened obama comes into power they take those motherfuckers people who have been fixing fucking over 
Western economy for decades, and they gave him a shitload of power and say, you own everything, right? All of this, all of this, that was the beginning. The immigration is just another weapon, mass migration. It's not even immigration, peeps be sheep. It's not immigration because immigration, immigration is legit, right? Countries can decide to have people immigrate to their land, right? To increase the knowledge base, right? But there's got to be a vetting system going on. You can't open your borders and say, fucking anybody. Do you, do you leave your door open in your house and anybody that wants to can come in and do whatever the fuck they want no you vet the people that come into your house right your country is your house there should be a vetting system but you don't lock your doors and don't say nobody can come into my house that's crazy right crazy people do that right you need to have interaction with different mindsets different belief systems different foods different languages different music right that's the beauty of life right diversity is really the beauty of life but you can't have open borders in the way they're doing it mass migration is their way of collapsing our societies it's the final nail in the coffin you can't stop a collapse by preventing the final nail in the coffin from going up going in right you need to prevent the collapse from the people that are trying to collapse you which isn't the mass migration they're just a tool right they're just a tool that's my rant on that there's a lot more to it but that's the general gist of it right that's the general gist of it